Hey guys. You might see me eating the pizza. You might see me drinking some water. I'm ready to start this video. Um, so yes, I'm going to make sure this camera doesn't get too hot. Um, so yes. Anyways, guys, welcome to my reaction to My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 7, Episode 1, Celestial Advice, found on Daily Motion, uploaded by Fudder Ponies CZ. Now, for those of you who might be wondering, I know how on YouTube, what was it when you record? If you start off with the phone vertical and you turn it horizontal afterwards, then the video will be smaller. I don't know if Daily Motion works that way, and I don't know that until I actually re-watch the recording. So that means I have to... I would be going on a limb, and I want it to be shorter because of Hasbro. I don't want my reaction to get blocked. So I'm going to be doing it in this way. Because, you know, if you guys want to watch the episode on full screen, then you got to find your own way to watch it, because I don't want you watching it through my reaction um what is it but if you do want to watch a full screen it's here on daily motion for free daily motion can be used for free and you can find it here for free and hasbro doesn't even block it on here hasbro doesn't block it the only problem i have with daily motion is there's so many of the episode i had to find the one with the best quality i just ran a picture with this one i wanted to find a way to check to make sure this one has a good quality and will play good but I don't also don't want to spoil the episode for me. Now, what I did, I took drastic measures on doing this. I avoided Google+, Plus, the social site, all day. All day. Sorry, I thought looking up. I avoided it all day. Because I wanted to do this episode premiere really good. So, yes. Anyways, guys. I am, and I'm going to track some Google+, Plus, my Google+, Plus followers on here, too. So, hello. Welcome, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna ask the A. And also, I did face cam. In fact, let me enlarge in that. Since I have this entire bottom area. Stretch out my face. I'm, I've got the good Ghostbusters shirt on, you know. If you guys want to see that. I can't wait to be doing face cam some more. Because I got this new phone. It doesn't overheat anymore. So I don't have to worry about face cam overheating it. Except this is on the charger. As you can see in that, uh, what is it? It's right up there. Look look at my little charger thing. See right there? It it that shows my phone is charging. And it, <laughs> I'm just, you guys are probably just like, start the episode already. And I got a new SD card with lots of recording room. Up to two hundred minutes. It's about two hours and forty nine minutes. That's what I'm why uh, this is gonna be what I'm using for the MLP movie. Anyways guys, enough of my rambling. Let's get on with this, shall we? In three, two, one, begin. I also turn this down. But if this is too loud. Just wanted to make sure you're ready for your big ceremony today. Oh my god, no. No, that was terrible. No, get that out of my face. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Episodes 1 and 2. Let's just watch that. Peace, David! Peace, David! <coughs> okay. We're just going to watch the first two episodes right here. But I'm going to split them up. Because they're two separate episodes, not a two parts of the premiere. But that was terrible. Hey, Spike. What's up? There just, we go. Uh, wanted to make sure you're ready for your big ceremony today. Yep. Oh, I still uh. can't believe my friends and I are getting medals of honor. <laughs> Are you kidding? He you graduated. Totally deserve it. After all, you saved Equestria from Queen Chrysalis with the help of Trixie and Thorax. What's so Isra. wrong, Spike? What are you doing? Uh, yeah, I know what Is happened. It, I was kind of there. In the background? Uh, right. She measuring the uh, room? So, what are you wearing? What are you so nervous about, Spike? Why? I mean, I seriously. No, I mean, you could. <laughs> It's like Rarity always says, there's no such thing as overdressed. <laughs> You're just the best looking pony in the room. <laughs> uh, what are you looking at? No, don't look. 
So that's what Twilight's doing in the background. What are you doing? Kiss and Starlight's face. Oh my god, that'd be a weird ship. Oh my god. No idea. We're a good team, Sparkle. Sparkle? Yeah, we are. So, do you think she'll like it? I want this present to say, I'm so proud of you, both as a mentor and a friend. Equestria is safer thanks to you. I thought you were getting her a mirror, like yours. A mirror? Uh, maybe you should get her a card, because well, I, I don't think the mirror will say all that, but I think she'll like it. It's just what her room needs. The first thing she'll see when she wakes up is herself surrounded by all her friends. I oh. plan on giving it to her after the ceremony. Oh, yeah, I see why it's a mirror now. I also like it. Nah, you guys got that high. covered. No, no, I'm getting hot. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> what the heck? Peace, David. What are you doing? Yeah. That was funny. Right. She, she already pulled a rope. Um, she pulled a rope. And then she. <laughs> oh, God, I'm off. Allergies after next today. Um, she's a cool pussy wolf. Um, I was on a Dallas trip, so. Uh, when I was going to a zoo, I got this from a girlfriend. I started to give it to her, but yeah. Whoopie. Whoopie. Um, so yeah. Fiends. Starlight, Fiends. Trixie, Thorax, and Discord were brave in the face of danger, resourceful when things got challenging, and proved that the bonds of friendship, no matter how unlikely, are stronger Party than favorite. any adversity. Party Mayor, Mayor. What's all the time seeing Mayor Mayor? Um, not only did they save what's that? They sent the snowboarding one. Um, double Diamond. Go Discord! Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> And that's why we're proud and honored to give them the equestrian pink hearts of courage. Ooh. Pink hearts of courage. Why haven't Twilight and the rest got pink hearts of courage? I've never seen them that. Uh, what the heck? These hearts are too big. You try, Luna. Oh my god. We are so proud of you all. <laughs> Get it on. <laughs> oh my god. Depot 3! You gotta play that beat. It was the great and powerful Trixie's Trixie. pleasure to save you from your imminent doom. Yes, because you <laughs> did it all by yourself. <laughs> I can't believe you managed Good to point, do it without magic. It was amazing. Nobody Whoa. ever stood up to Chrysalis like that. Uh, oh, those are not changing what I expected. This is what I expected. It's a wonderful feeling, isn't it? I guess they're their Watching voices your change? students shine the way you always <laughs> knew they could. <laughs> my cheeks are sore. I don't think I've ever smiled this much in my life. Oh, wow. I can only imagine what that feels like. Ooh. Yes, Starlight is student of the year, isn't she? She has so much potential. So, what are we going to do with her? And by we, I definitely mean you. Being the mentor <laughs> and all that, her destiny falls squarely on your haunches. Oh, don't you worry. <laughs> I've planned enough friendship lessons to cover yeah. the next three years. <laughs> friendship lessons? What's so funny? No, no. Clearly, Starlight is beyond basic friendship lessons. She just won a medal for Equestria's sake. Oh, I thought you were uh, joking. This court, she may have saved the world. Right? Oh. <laughs> yeah, of course I was. Well, I mean, she saved the world, but I think she should have a grandmaster plan for her. Lesson. The same way Celestia said you were a princess. Why do I have that on top? Is that actually on top, that freaking stuff? Princess. Yep. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure she can't wait to hear all about it. Oh, oh this cool. Seriously. By the way, guys, I'm watching this a bad oh, quality. Just to make sure it has better than blocking. So you can't have friendship without makeovers. 
Discord, you troll. Discord, Mr. Potato Head. I was kind of wondering what we were going to do next. Yes, I'd say we were both fairly interested. Oh my god. Uh, of course you are. And I do have a plan, obviously. But now is clearly not the time to do it. You should enjoy your party. <laughs> like, come on, the Ponyville Chronicle wants to take our picture. Ugh, you too, Discord. <laughs> <sighs> I see what you're doing. You do? You already planned the perfect moment during the party to make the grand announcement to every right. pony about your plan. Is it some carrot spot? Oh, I can't wait to tell right. Fluttershy and the others. There, I don't know if you guys see it. Hey, CMC. Twilight, are you reading during a party? Again? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. She mastered this. She taught me about this one. Wild guess. Something's wrong. Spike, I'm a terrible mentor. Why didn't I come up with a path for Starlight? Princess Celestia had it all figured out for me. <gasps> That's it. Ooh, I'm hurry. I have years worth of out. friendship lessons ready to go. But when we were captured by Chrysalis, Starlight took charge and really stepped up. I don't think friendship lessons are enough for her anymore. So you have an overachieving student. Sounds Celestia familiar. Celestia is going <laughs> to get Twilight. That's why I had to talk to you. You of all ponies advice. would know what to do. I mean, you were me and I was Starlight. But for now, I is this our Celestia episode? And I'm me. Huh? Is this our Celestia episode? Go on. When I was your student and you were in this place, you. Oh no! You sent me to Ponyville, which means it's time for me to send Starlight Glimmer away. But to where? Baltimore? I can't believe it. It really is time for Starlight to go, isn't it? Only you can make that decision. It's a difficult one, but your heart knows what's right, even ah. as it hurts. Where are you gonna send her? <laughs> Too soon. She no, know yet? This is something I have to do. Baltimore. We never seen Baltimore. Twilight's planning for Starlight is going to be so exciting. Hmm. This Wonder why she didn't tell any of us about it. You massive troll. Probably because you're not as close as you think you are. Uh, okay, okay, okay. That's getting hot. That's getting hot. She wanted it to be a big surprise. Just between us, she's getting ready to make okay. a big announcement. That's so exciting and surprising. Usually you tell your party planner about all your plans for your party. Well, she definitely has one. I mean, when has Twilight not had a plan? Hmm. Hmm. It is Twilight. Mm -hmm. I think it's in this episode. I'll have my phone charge a little bit. I'll play a little bit of Kirby. You know, I'll eat the rest of my pizza. Um, I think after this reaction, I'm going to, um, what is it? What the fuck did I say? I'm going to play a little bit of Kirby on my thing while I'm my phone charge a little bit. So I don't have to worry about having to charge it in any episode. So yeah. Sorry about cussing, by the way. Um, whoa. Cool spell. If Starlight goes to the Changeling Hive, she can help them adjust to their new way of life. Okay, friendship 101. Thorax and I are going to show you how to compromise. I want to have honeysuckle nectar for lunch. I would like a sandwich. Oh no, what we should we do? Like that. Okay. Thorax and I can talk about it and come up with a solution that works for every pony. Yeah, that's Starlight, easy. Starlight, how do you feel about honeysuckle and peanut butter sandwiches? Why, that sounds delicious. Why are you Compromise. talking about that? That, is, that bugs me. Oh, yeah. They're not yeah. a bunch of toddlers. Yeah, yeah. This doesn't seem like something Starlight that would do. <laughs> uh, this is Twilight's fantasy <laughs> spike. There is no wrong way to fantasize. Thank you. Starlight Glimmer is a most apt and perspicacious pony. Yep, definitely a Twilight fantasy. 
This seems like a lovely path for Starlight. The changelings have so, so much to learn about are how they projecting their fantasy? Their friendships. Starlight so, that's cool. For a very long time. That's cool. But her work there would be very rewarding. That will be dangerous. Face it like. would only take one changeling to deviate from the pack. Your name? Uh, Cornicle? <laughs> what kind of name is that? Oh, your wings are so, um, see through. I'm so glad I'm a pony. <laughs> are you like bugs or what? But wait, a changeling wouldn't be able to do that magic. A changeling wouldn't be able to do that kind of magic, though. Yeah. It could. I can't just send her off to Celestia knows where without thinking it through. Hmm. I was not aware that I was an expression. An appropriate one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is a moment. <laughs> of MLP tissues. <coughs> oh. <sighs> that explains. <laughs> so I, don't, I, I was not aware of that. I was an expression. Well, if it's the Celestia knows where, then Celestia should be able to tell you. Shouldn't she? <laughs> but, oh my god, wow. This decision. You must consider all the possibilities. Rethink, rethink, rethink! Oh, wow. What about the dragons? I can send Starlight to the Dragonlands! She and Ember would totally hit it off. Oh... Uh... Oh my god. Ember! Starlight! What the, what the oh, fuck? You ready to do some death defying dragons? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> okay, that doesn't sound anything like Ember. Yeah. Or Starlight. <laughs> Who knows what their dynamic would be, Spike? Uh. <gasps> Where's Garble? Freaky. Starlight will love it in the Dragonlands. In her letters, Ember said dragons do a lot of fun things. The Feast of Fires, the Dragon Bowl, Quachella. <laughs> Starlight could be there for a really long oh, time. Oh, hey. I'm losing it. Torch. Not all right. dragons like ponies as much as Ember I didn't does. know what happened to him after. Oh, hey, there's Twinkle Garble. Star! It's uh, Starlight Glimmer. Star? Colite Star? Starlight. Yeah, whatever. You want to hang with us? What the heck? What are we diving into? Did Garble really do that? Uh, what? Uh, no. Starlight, this is Daddy crazy. Daddy was dead for Starlight. <laughs> no, Starlight's no, no. magic. She could just stop herself from falling into a pit of lava. What if she didn't realize it was happening? You just never know, Spike. I just need to think of someplace That's safe to send. That's a good point. Someplace safe, someplace safe, someplace safe. I think the dragons know. I can send her to the Crystal Empire Ponies. to continue her magical studies with yeah, Sunburst. It'll be perfect. Sunburst's knowledge of magic is only matched by Starlight's abilities. That's I got perfect, it. actually. Try placing your horn directly on the potion and picture the clock you wish to make. Hey, Flurry Heart on the thing. Each other to the most talented unicorns Equestrians ever seen. We did it! Quick, what's next? Of course, the study of magic is a lifelong pursuit, and Starlight could be there for a while, especially once they start attempting the really complicated stuff. Three, two, one. What if they become too ambitious? Ambit. What? I never would have thought to combine Star Swirl's apparition spell with Spatium Flexibus, but what would happen if we added Somnambula's Tempest Objectus? 
if we do it just right, it should allow us to materialize an object that was lost in the past. Oh, oh this is the part where we sneak in the teaser. Was this just like a fantasy that they're imagining? Bye, Twilight, snap out of it! So that's Easy, what happened. Twilight. It didn't happen. But it could. I just don't think I can send her anywhere. What am I gonna do? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the heck, Celestia? Are you laughing at me? Uh. <laughs> Celestia. <laughs> I'm laughing because I had the exact same fears you're having. What? Oh. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, guys, you got your Celestia episode, and I'm actually she happy about it too. One of my best students. Lyra. Are you talking about Lyra. Twilight? I can't see what you're thinking about. <sighs> yes, Spike. Oh, Moon Dancer and Lemon Heart. Surprised and impressed with her discoveries. Oh, that. But I noticed that her pursuit of academia was preventing Why her from reaching trying? her full potential. Mm, Athena okay. was keeping her isolated and alone. Uh, yes, Spike. I had a decision to make. Oh, but it wasn't <laughs> easy. Maybe I could close the library or throw a party in the castle. Oh, she'd have to talk to the other fillies then. Oh. I must send her away. Ah, I knew there was a special group of fillies when in Hollyville, but I kept inventing all kinds of reasons why I shouldn't send you. <laughs> what if she runs into a manticore? manticore? Or what if she gets pulled into Tartarus? <laughs> or worst of all, what if she doesn't get along with any pony? Wait, why would she get pulled into Tartarus? I don't think so. <laughs> I kept you in Canterlot longer than I should have. Eventually, I realized all the anxiety I felt was because I didn't want you to go. Really? I loved having you as a student. You challenged me and taught me just as much as I taught you. I am embarrassed to admit it, but I was afraid if you made friends, you wouldn't need me anymore. Oh, so Princess so Celestia, that is so not true. I will always need you. I think Starlight Glimmer might feel the same way about you, if that is what you're afraid of. Maybe it is, just a little. Oh, it definitely is, like a lot. Here we are after all these years, Twilight. Oh my we are God, living that's proof that letting someone spread their ever. wings doesn't mean you no longer have a place in their lives. Thank you. And if you're still worried, you can always make her write you letters. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you were just Santa butt. Santa butt. I may have let it slip that you'd be unveiling your big plan for Starlight tonight. Silly me. But we're all very excited to hear what you've cooked up. Oh, Discord. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't coming up with a plan just now, were you? Oh dear, this could be pretty embarrassing. Discord, for you. what is with your style, man? Thanks, Discord. I started to bug me for some reason. I really do love. But it's also really fun. funny too. If I could have every pony's attention, as you all know, Starlight Glimmer's been my pupil for a while now, and I'd hoped she'd be my pupil for a long time yet to come. But it turns out that's well, just not meant to be. The trailer was a trailer, which was a Starlight, teaser. You have proved yourself yeah, to be spoil a that kind, be honest. I did not know we were going to get a Celestia episode. And truly but finally, friend. me and everyone just else that's been complaining. I got a Celestia episode. I know there's nothing more I need to it's teach you. Enough. Okay, you so we have a second that. reason to celebrate today. Three cheers for Starlight Glimmer on her graduation. <laughs> you guys don't want to see that. No, no, no. Not expecting this. <laughs> Darn it. 
I was hoping you'd send her to my realm. We could have been roomies. <laughs> Way to not pick up what I was putting down. Wow. How do you want to celebrate? Do you really wanted to go there. We can throw you a change. Everybody doesn't remember. Best. Remember that little run we had in. It's more fun than um, what is it? Make new friends with the Discord. That episode. We could go cause yeah, a that little mischief. That I know about. a trick that'll turn Celestia's castle into cheese. Do you think it's a good idea? Uh, <laughs> That's just the first of many cheese jokes if we go down this path. Oh, that all sounds I want to see that now. But, um, <laughs> and so <laughs> reaction. Congratulations. Thanks. So, how do you feel? Happy? Surprised? Overwhelmed? I mean, not that I'm not grateful, but are you sure? It just randomly paused. I thought long and hard about this. Of course you did. Starlight, trust me. I'm just watching right now. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of seeing. Okay, uh, not. not No, I'm not. What are you talking about? I'm not ready to leave. Oh, good. Because I'm not ready for that either. Oh my God. I got you this present. Okay. Let me. It was going to be a present, but then I was afraid. It would have to be a going away present, but now it's I couldn't be happier. Stay present. If it's so, Starlight's staying. I, I was actually I happy it. for her to leave. Not to lose the show, I may not but know to go next for you. Sunburst but whatever it is, and all that. I, promise I was kind of happy be that she'd be going to do that. Um, and like probably one of my friends would be more than happy for her to leave. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. Anime Lover 17. Uh, Pinky. What the heck is that? What the heck? Okay guys, so that was Season 7, Episode 1, Celestial Advice. We finally got a Celestial episode. Could have been better. It was good though. It was really good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the episode. So, so to say, fan guys, last the episode. Good season seven premiere. I'm glad we're gonna be reacting to MLP again. And Mobile Zen's working. Oh well, I have to wait till it actually finishes and so I can actually find the video. Otherwise, screw you in the butthole, Mobizen. Anyways, so yes. Anyways, see you all guys later. Thanks for watching. I left the air bubble there. The air circle. The Mobizen air circle. I'm, I'm stupid. Anyways, take care, guys. Sorry about the notification popping in your face. I'm going to let my phone charge, and I'll be doing all bottled up.